Welcome to Men's Style Fashion. Hello there. You're looking incredibly gorgeous. Oh, thank Who you are very you much. and what do you do? Uh, I'm Oliver Cheshire. Yes. I'm a model and a blogger. Right. And um, I'm here in Mr. Star at the moment. Yes. This collection's amazing. I'm loving it all. What what um, staple pieces would you advise um, guys to invest in? Oh, this, this denim shirt over here is out this world. Right, talk us through it, Oliver. Why? This Why would you shirt. say that? Look at the cut. Yeah. Like, the feel it's amazing. I'm sure it's just going to fit perfect. You right. Know, you can tell from everything. And I'm loving the black and blue um, tuxedo over here with a beautiful um, bow tie. That is unreal. That is um, great. I, I've, I've had the pleasure of styling opera singers for yeah. the Royal Albert Hall, for yeah. the Savoy. Opera than a decline. Would you say something like this would be a good start? Definitely. You know. like, I think, obviously, if you look good, people are going to take interest in you. Right. Especially if you dress well, you know. Yeah. Even yeah. if you can look however you can do, be a pop star or an opera singer, that's not as on trend. But if yeah. you're on trend in clothes, right. then you are, you know. There was an opera singer, I opened the Dolce show yesterday, and yep. there was an opera singer singer, and I can't remember who it was, but she was dressed in Dolce, and he was, right. and they looked amazing, you know. They were all amazing in there. It was a live opera. I'd never heard heard it before so well, it's really special. It's, it's a real valid point because um, I'm trying to target a younger mind in the opera yeah. so what you're saying is what they're wearing is actually quite dated. I mean you've never been it to opera. Be. It can be, yeah. yeah. Why I, haven't you been to the opera before then? It's just not my cup of tea. I didn't grow up around it. I grew up listening to like garage music and grime so that's kind of my cup of tea but right. I'd love to go to some opera if I got a ticket. Do you know that... I'm not saying I wouldn't go, you know. Right. Yeah. No, you should definitely go. You know, like the Bon Jovi and all. Yeah. They're Big actually fan. trained opera singers. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. You see. It's, <laughs> um, what? Um, what's your message to the man who's kind of lost a passion to dress up, or you know, can't be bothered? You just, you know, he's not getting. He's not getting men. He's not getting it's, the stuff. You got to wake up. Come on, everyone's doing it. It's like the biggest, like biggest. Well, it's just, it's just on the internet. Like, everyone's doing it. Men are like taking more pride of themselves. Like three years ago, they weren't moisturising, and now everyone is, you know. Uh, so, come on, you've got to get on board. It makes you feel good, you know. Yeah. You feel good and look good. You're happy, aren't you? It's like looking after yourself. Go to the gym, you feel good. You know, you dress well, you feel good. It's kind of like it's special. What's your message to the guy who sits on his lounge all day in his Dolce Cabana underwear, <laughs> sipping a Johnny Walker, and can't be bothered going to the gym? Now, what? Give us some motivation. I, I want to be like that when I'm 50. I want to be sat in, on the sofa, my Dolce's on, and a, and a Johnny Walker, <laughs> watching um, Deal or No Deal, you know? <laughs> I'll be doing that when I'm 50, I think. Now, how you, you're obviously trained for your job. Yeah. Um, how long does it take, you know, talk us through this, uh, this body of yours? <laughs> you know, is it... I, I train like four times a week. Right. I do like the jailhouse workout, so it's yep. like push-ups, sit-ups, chin-ups. Yep. And a lot of running and right. cardio. So, yeah, nothing big, so you can fit into the clothes. So, okay, what size are you, just out of curiosity? Um, like a 30 waist. Right. And a 44 regular, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Oliver, what? I'll give you my address if you want to send me some guns. <laughs> <laughs> no, Oliver, thank you so much. Thank You're you. adorable in every way. Thank, thank you.